Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Zool. I make music. Episode 5, I think we're on. So today, I just recorded like 20 billion guitar tracks, about that many, and it's a big old mess inside of Cakewalk. So i got to clean, clean that shite up. But also figuring out what, uh, what takes I like, because I took a lot of different takes. So today's going to be a lot of listening and figuring out what I like. So let's start with the lead guitar, because that's the least daunting of all the tasks ahead of me here. Well, actually, I need to learn about dealing with these take lanes, so I'm going to do a little reading on the owner's manual. Welcome to be in the video there, Noah. Yeah. This is my nephew, everybody. What would you like to say to the world? This is your first YouTube appearance. What do you want to say? Noah wants to be a YouTuber one day, so... Not like his, though. Not like me, because my channel sucks. Yeah. He, he wants to actually, actually have a cool channel. <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want your YouTube channel to be about? Scootering. So you gotta look. You got to look at the camera and tell everyone all about Scootering, it. Scootering, I want it to be. And there's these cool people on YouTube who do like a bunch of cool stuff. They're just like normal people, except they do a bunch of funny challenges and they like race. And I would probably want to like have like car races and then like they have like prank wars. And then they do like challenges and like they can do like backflips on ground. I like them. And then that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay. That sounds pretty cool. Honestly, I would rather watch that than my YouTube channel. <laughs> There you go. That's my nephew. Pretty cool guy. So yeah, stay tuned. He's going to have some big things coming, coming at you in the future. Anyway, back to my channel, because this is my channel. It's all about me and what I want to do. And what I want to do is sort this big old disgusting mess of guitar tracks out. If you want to move a clip to the exact same time place in, in an adjacent lane, hold down the shift key while you drag. Okay, that's handy. Hold down shift, and when you move that, it won't go back and forth, which is great. So say I grab this thing here, and I hold down shift, and you move this, it will just stay where it is. So that's handy if you want to move things up and down. Track view, options, auto crossfade, adds a crossfade between any newly overlapped clips that are on the same take lane. Okay, that will be useful, so I'm going to do that. Maybe just S. Okay, good to know. There's no cutting tool, but hit S, and that is the cutting tool. So good to know how to split, combine several clips into one. That's bounce. So right-click, you select all the clips you want, then you right-click, and you select bounce. So once I've figured out the take that I like, I'll definitely be using that. Okay. Learning some stuff. This is good. Comping refers to the process of recording multiple takes, then assembling a final composite track by combining the best parts from each take. That's uh, pretty standard in recording. So yeah, good to know what comping means if you ever hear that word being used. So you just you do a bunch of takes and then you find the best little bits of each one. And then you combine them all into one awesome take that you didn't play in one go, but yeah, nobody has to know. And then you're less stressed out when you play. If you know that, oh, it doesn't matter if I mess up, even if there's something good in there, you know, it's uh, you'll be able to use it. You just cut it out and insert it into your final take. I'm wondering if there's a paid version of Cakewalk because I seem to be lacking a lot of features that the user manual says. The most complete music production package, apparently. It's quite a bold statement, but uh, that's marketing for you. Word winning, blah, 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 blah. There's no, I'm not seeing any paid version on here. Okay, well, I wonder why I'm missing all these features. So this, this little thingy here, it's a vertical dash, and then there's three horizontal dashes. They didn't give it a name. But uh, it's used for comping. So if you like a track, I guess you just select it with that. Well, I can't tell the difference, so I'll just choose the top one. So say I use, well, this one's already selected, so it doesn't really matter. So, so if I didn't want that take, I would have done that on this one, just done the same thing. And instead of selecting that one, I would have selected this one. And that would now be the take that you would see up here. 
So that's a quick way to kind of send all the takes that you like up to the top where at the end you can just bounce them all to one clip. So that's something I'm going to be using lots. Playback will loop continuously. Oh, okay, apparently when you press shift and spacebar, it actually loops your selection, so let me try that. Let's say I want to hear this little riff here, so I'll just hold the spacebar, or I'll select it, shift. Yeah, okay. It does, and you'll see up in the, up here, it's created a little loop, and it's activated the loop. So that's pretty handy. It'd be nice if uh, I could still hear the whole song instead of just the clip by itself. The up-down key to addition the next or previous take. And shift spacebar. That's cool. So just press the up-down key. Yeah, I'll definitely be using that. Sweet. Yeah, that's super helpful. And then you can quickly just cycle between. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that will be a time saver for sure. Speed comping, that's what that's called. If you want to addition takes in context with in context with other tracks, enable dim solo mode. Oh, okay, well good. I was just wondering about that. So now that question has been answered. So you have to open up the mix module, click this button, dim solo. So now when I audition a track by selecting the clip I want with my smart tool. Okay, I don't want to resize it. No, I want to select the whole thing. Okay, like that. So I'll select it. Shift. Oh, sweet. So now I'm hearing, You're actually hearing the song as well. So, you know what? I think I've got enough knowledge now to actually start selecting the takes I want. Okay, time to find the takes that I like, starting with lead guitar. So, right at the beginning. That one sounds fine to me. That was record 28. Let's go down, make sure that same thing is selected up here. Record 28 is also selected, so good. Let me select this to listen. Shift. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that one. I'm always doing also good. You wrong. Oh, right, I forgot about this other track. This is a double, a duplicate, so I need to mute that. I like that one, I think, the best so far. Yeah, Last one. I'm always I think uh, I'm going to go with four. That one I like the best. Let me click my smart tool here. And go right up to that. And if I solo that without dim solo. Good. Don't hear any clipping. If I heard a little or a pop, that means the crossfade didn't work. But the crossfade did work. And it's not a weird crossfade. Some crossfades sound weird. And that was record four. So I need to go down and duplicate that now in this one. And now when I unmute, they should both be the same. Nothing should sound weird. Um, if I put these in a folder, I can solo them all. Let's insert folder. Lead guitar. Lead guitar, right click, add tracks to folder, good. Cleans things up. And now I can just solo all of those, make sure nothing sounds weird. Very nice, very nice. Now while I'm at it, time to make a, a bus for the lead guitar. Master, don't want you going to master. Bus G, all right, bus G it is. Got a bus, let me rename bus G 
before I go any further, let's go to console view, which is alt two, I believe. Uh, indeed it is. Bus G will now become lead guitar. Okay, let's, uh, where are we at now? I just did record four. Now we're over here to, it's gonna be one of these three takes, I believe. Yeah. Record 32, sounds fine. Let's leave it. Moving on to the next little part. Next little riff. Riff raff. Select. Shift play. On and on. So far. In my heart, going Record six. On, on. Got bad That's kind of cool. In my heart, going it's between four and six. On, on. Got bad feelings now it's between three, four, and six. On, on, on. I don't know which one I like. Yeah, I think it's between four and three. Jeez, I don't know. Let's just go with three. They both sound about equally as good to me. So it a boyakasha. Irmanau Rune Boys. Next riff. Raff. Record nine. Do I like you? Let's find out. Hardly even hear that. One. Oh. Why can't I hardly hear that? Because it's muted, I think. Yep. That's why I can't hear it. It's friggin' muted. Dummy. Booyakasha! Or I can't be too loud. There's a bunch of children in the house and they're all trying to sleep. So if I'm too loud, there's gonna be chaos in here. Okay, let's try this. Oh. Kind of played a wrong note in that, so let's say no to you. I'm always doing that one is my favorite so far. To like the earlier tapes, they've got a little more energy to them. I think I was more jazzed up. You know? After you do however many takes, ten takes, you can lose your enthusiasm a little bit. I'm liking four and what's three like? I'm always doing one. I'm always doing three is slightly mellower. I'm always doing one. Probably gonna have to be three again. I'm always doing Yep, three it is. Record three, I can hear. Baby screaming, Haven, my niece. Oh, she's doesn't sound like she's having a lot of fun. Okay, record three. Try and keep my voice down. It's a whisper. This is a whisper episode. Welcome to Sue Makes Music. Let me whisper in your ear the words you want to hear. What song is that from? Is that the Goo Goo Dolls? Let me whisper in your ear the word you want to hear. What does Google give you if you write that? Let me whisper in your ear. Song by the Yin Yang Twins? Really? Picture of a llama? Hey, kitty. Kitty's here. What's up? What on earth is this? Uh, YouTube or Google returned a video of a llama licking a red wall. 
when I typed in let me whisper in your ear, so okie doke. That's interesting. Let me whisper. I'm pretty sure it's the Goo Goo Dolls I'm thinking of. Oh well, that's not important. That's a distraction. Back to work. God damn. Okay, what did I... Record 3 was the one I liked. If you guys let me know if you like the whisper episodes, then I can do that. I don't mind whispering. Now Aislinn's getting in on it, too. It's tough having kids, man. Not that I know from experience, but... Now, ideally, I'd like to use record three for course two. Let's try it. I'm always doing you wrong. You're always doing me wrong. Yeah, I'm always... Ain't nothing wrong with that. Record three it is. Record three is where it's at tonight. Okay, now I'm really happy I put this arranger track up here because it helps me when I'm editing because I'll just line up this line right here with the course and I know exactly where to start and stop. So we're making some progress here, folks. Moving on to the bridge. The bridge I messed up in a lot of tracks and honestly, I don't need another bridge take because I already played this riff probably 10 times. I've made like 10 tracks of the same riff. But you know what? I'm just gonna select one that works anyway. Come up dry every time that I try to be on nope, that's not the one. <laughs> that's a clear mistake. Record four, let's see if you're where it's at. The fuck is that all about? Why are you being weird? Probably because I played it wrong. That's why. That's what's weird. Let's go to record five. Record five clearly doesn't even... So I messed record five up. It's going to be one of these ones up here. Six, perhaps. <laughs> Yep, record six is the one. Let's listen to that all together. Simba is destroying the couch right now, and honestly, there's no point in stop him. He's already basically destroyed it. Doing me wrong. Yeah. I have not saved my project yet. That is silly of me. Better late than never, but holy crap. Don't risk it like that. All right, the end is in sight. Okay, time to look at the outro. So, track 39, let's try record 50. See if we like that. These bad feelings in my heart going on, on. Throw some bad reverb on that. Heart going on, on, on. The bad feelings in my heart going on and on. These bad feelings in my heart going on and on, on and on. nothing wrong with record 50 let's just go with that and that means my work is done hell yeah I'm pretty sure record 50 is selected down here as well yes it is oh booyah okay that means my work is done on comping now i'd like to bounce this all to one track yeah played that riff so quietly. Did I mute my doubles? Oh, oh, I archived them. Well, let me hear what it sounds like with them. Got bad feelings in my heart. Maybe 
maybe one of them should be the aggressive. Do I like the aggressive version or the non-aggressive version? Bring. I wish I had somewhere just in between the two of them. So now the double track is an aggressive guitar tone, while the non-double track is soft, and that sounds okay together, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna listen to the whole thing, make sure I like it. Or should I look at doing the more aggressive guitar tone on both guitars? I could always just turn this one up, the double track louder, and almost just have that like a solo. How does that sound together? I think it'll be fine. Okay, so now I need to bounce the stuff. Is that the cat? That was the weirdest meow I've ever heard from you, Simba. So if you hit flat and comp, it's giving me a whole new take. Oh, but it puts it in. I don't want it in. I want it as like a new audio track. If I want, I can just make new audio track for it. Simba, get off here, man. Get off the friggin' counter, bro. Simba, get out of here. So much fucking shit going on in this house. In here. What do you want? Get down. This is not the snuggle zone. This is the mixing zone. Nice. I'm liking this. It's super cleaned up. Now, why does this clip look like there's nothing in it? That doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Yeah, because there is nothing in it. So that's weird. Super not ideal. my footsteps now and do that all over again like come on god damn it oh, what a bummer and a half all right fuck here we go again okay it worked that time yeah creep.